Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my May 2021 plan with me and as you can see I am doing a jellyfish theme this month. Now I don't really like how it's turned out overall. Um, I think I just envisioned it differently. I thought I was going to use watercolour and then I ended up not doing that. Um, but this is how it turned out anyways. So to start off with I'm just doing a little um, square sort of window I guess um, with longer and shorter lines to have uh, the name of the month and a little mini calendar. I've just used my Artline 200 um, fine liner for that in 0.4 size and my Typo dual ended brush pens. Once I've done that I then go through and draw in all the little jellyfish and some bubbles. Um, I do little different shapes and I use mostly um, purples, blues, greens and a couple of pinks in there as well. Um, and then once I do, once I finish that off, sorry if you can hear my kitten in the background, um, but once I finish drawing the jellyfish, I put in some little bubbles and then I just write in the quote, sometimes in the waves of change, we find our true direction. And I just, I really like this quote. I think it really suits um, this theme, but also uh, what's happening in my life right now. Like I have two little kids and everything's always changing. And sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming. Um, my kids are two and nearly eight months old, so change happens quickly and like I said, it can get a little overwhelming at times, but I wouldn't change it for the world. All right, moving on, um, I go on to doing my calendar. Now, as you can see, I had a, a square calendar, a floating square calendar drawn out in pencil underneath here. But I decided while I was in the middle of penciling, uh, penning everything in, sorry, that I didn't like the squares and that I would do circles instead. So that's what I'm doing now, just um, putting in all the circles, using the squares that I had drawn as um, a reference point to where to put them. And then I also had my word of the month, uh, YouTube, Instagram, uni and notes section all penciled in and, uh, you know, rectangles as well with sharp corners. And I, of course, decided I didn't like that. So I figured I'd just freehand the boxes with little rounded corners instead. Um, it's more of a messy look, but I actually don't mind it too much. Uh, again, the spreads haven't turned out exactly how I wanted them, but um, I'm not, I don't hate them. They're just not what I envisioned. Um, so then of course I was going to use uh, an Archer and Olive stamp set to put in the word May but I didn't like the size of it in comparison to the rest of the spread so I ended up freehanding that and for the letters of the days of the week I used uh, a little stamp set from Kmart here in Australia um, which I actually love it's one of my favorite stamp sets. Um, I also, I do love the Archer and Olive one, I just, I need to um, learn how to use stamps properly before I can actually use them well. <laughs> and then um, before I go on to the next spread, I do actually get a, a receipt that I had lying around and just put it over the, um, the stamps to remove any excess ink before I turn the page so it doesn't transfer. I do also draw just a couple of little jellyfish on this page. I just didn't want it to be too 
Um, too crowded, I guess. And now I'm moving on to my study tracker and brain dump spread. Uh, for my study tracker, you'll notice I only go down to the 23rd. That's because uni ends um, a bit of the way through the month. It doesn't go for the whole month, so I don't need it for the whole month. Um, below that, I did use the Archer and Olive little uh, four checkboxes stamp. I think there's only actually five on the stamp, but I removed the bottom one. Um, and I just have little checkboxes um, showing a key. So for my four different units and then a little pattern on whether it's for a tutorial, an assessment, reading or actual study and review. And then I just have a brain dump page next to that because um, I always put them together. And then moving on, I have my sleep log, um, the checkered, sorry, the dotted line or the broken line, I should say, down the almost center is at the seven hour mark. That's my goal. Um, I want to get seven hours of sleep a night. It doesn't happen very often because I do have two young children who are currently going through a sleep regression, so that's fun. <laughs> um, but I also have a little key there that shows whether, you know, it's a, um, a different pattern for a good sleep, a restless sleep, bad sleep, um, or a really deep sleep, so that's good. Oh, but of course, I've got my mood tracker. Once again, I completely ignored, well, not completely, but I pretty much ignored the um, sketch I had underneath and just uh, freehanded the um the amount of space I would need um so for this the days include the bubbles the tentacles and the little sections in the head of the jellyfish and of course I've got my little key up in the corner as well um and then I've got mood tracker at the top so with my study tracker brain dump and sleep log um I didn't like how I had uh, written the titles out with just the um brush pen so I went back through with uh, my fine liner uh, I'm still not 100% in love with it, but it works, so we're just leaving it at that. Alright, now we're moving on to my actual weekly spreads. I decided that I would do, um, I think it's called Dutch Doors, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but where I cut off a portion of the page so that I can always see my habit trackers um, for my daily habits that I want to track, um, and I can always see a portion of the drawing I do. So with the bits I cut off, I actually ended up making a little book out of that just for some little doodles and stuff, which is really cute. Um, but I don't show that in here. If you do want to see that though, let me know and I will film one on how to make that. Um, I think it's really cute and it's really helpful for when I'm trying to think of ideas. Um, but I just drew the f six little jellyfish on the uh, blank page. I was going to put another quote in, but I decided against that. Um, and once I've done that, I go through and I separate um the pages into four sections each um now i usually start my weeks on a monday just because i like to do that obviously the first week of may starts on a saturday and sunday for the first and second so on that one i end up doing a monthly goals section for uni personal finance and relationship um and then i have my saturday and sunday section and my social section so for the, for um instagram and youtube tracker down the bottom mm -hmm. and then moving on i have got uh just a regular weeklies with socials down the bottom until the last week of may um where i have divided the social section into two so that i can have the very last day which is a monday on that same section so that's how i've worked that out um and you'll see me ha see how i finish that in a minute but that's pretty much it for my um, setup this month, guys. I hope you really like it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below and let me know. Um, and if you have any ideas or suggestions for what I can do better in the future, please let me know as well, and I will definitely take them on board. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll leave you with some hopefully nice music to listen to. Uh, we will see. <laughs> but enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you for watching this.